Okay, so here's an interesting recent project. Uh, recently finished completion of a new conference room in our facility. And rather than give away the 18 foot space, we decided to put a loft above it for storage purposes. Uh, not for people, but just to keep stuff in. So, of course, we welded together a ladder to get up there. But if you have to actually use the storage space, you're going to need a way to get stuff up and down. So that uh, was the impetus for building a dumbwaiter. You can see it goes up a track, up to the top. And it actually runs on a Harbor Freight winch, or a uh, hoist, I should say. And that pulls the... The rider. These are actually uh, tracks used on like a barn door, so they're kind of repurposed. And what that allows is to hold the the wheels, which you can kind of see in there on the track. So there's four of those attached to a steel frame, and then that rides in there. So you can see it says no riders, obviously for safety reasons. Uh, you don't want someone riding there, but to show you, I think I will take a ride. So we hit the switch. Basically, there are limit switches that stop it when it gets to the top. Uh, you can see one here, a spring limit switch. There's also another limit switch here, which is kind of a fail-safe. If something goes wrong, uh, that limit will actually disconnect the power from the whole system. So uh, there's a limit switch at the bottom, and then there's one at the top, and it basically just brings you right up to the, the level of the mezzanine um, so we can fill it with stuff. Uh, again, it is a Harbor Freight electric hoist and basically at the bottom and the top there is a, a switch to go up and down here's sort of the control panel for it now I know I could have used a, a, a programmable chip or something like that but you know for something like this it's just faster and easier and actually for the most part more reliable because there's no capacitors or anything to wear out to just go with a relay uh, logic type setup so uh, to do it this way where you just hit the button and it takes you the whole way up or the whole way down took a couple. Basically you need three relays to interface with the Harbor Freight um, the way that the hoist is wired. So you have an up and down relay and then an on relay. Um, and then there's, there's limit switches, contacts that are built in. So they're all just wired up, uh, you know, to double pull Armron relays that run off a low voltage and then switch the high voltage. So it works quite well. Um, based on sort of the construction, it should be rated for easily 400 pounds. Um, you can come up the ladder and bring your stuff up or down safely. So we'll take a ride down. There's the lower limit switch that stops it at ground level, so it works quite well.